<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video, so um, I needed to run to Target to get a few things. Um, so I thought, you know what? I've never done a Target video. Thought I'd bring you guys along with me, see what they've got, plus grab my items. I need a few things uh, from the makeup section and like some laundry detergent. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Emily. The lighting in here is not that great. It's kinda... If you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Let's go inside and uh, see what Target has. Back to masking it up. I actually need a microwave. My little baby microwave just died on me, so that's gonna be my first stop. Microwave, where are you? Yeah, like this is literally something that I'm looking for. I have a little perfect like space for it in my kitchen. I guess I don't have any black and deckers though. Just the little sunbeam guy. Hey. That is so cute. Little mini fridge. Six can bread to fridge, $40. Mm -hmm. Okay, microwave was a no-go. I'm gonna go check out the uh, grocery section. Grab a few things there. I need um, cold brew, oat milk. Ah, just kind of cruise through and see what they've got. Do you guys have any recommendations on where I can get a microwave for a decent price? I don't know. I haven't microwave shopped in many, many years. Got a great fruit selection. Ooh, Rayo's on sale, $5.99. Try marinara and the arrabbiata. Kind of consider myself a little bit of a tortilla kind of sore. <laughs> and believe it or not, the uh, market pantry is really good. It's like pretty close to like fresh. I mean, if you're going to buy from the grocery store, you know? Sadly, I did not like that croissant crust. I was so excited about it, too. Mm. Yeah, I've got some good plant-based options. I've never tried the purple carrot. Have you? Let me know in the comments. I haven't tried this one either. Buddha bowl. Or, um, sorry, plant-based. What is this? Tattooed Chef? Yeah. Cauliflower mac and cheese bowl. Hemp bowl. Sounds good. I tried some Daily Harvest recently. Well, this year. And it was pretty good. And everything is vegan from that. And you know, I mean, I'm a meat eater, but just kind of nice to like maybe have as like a side or like a appetizer sometimes. Is the Good and Gather brand good for pizza? You know, I'm a home run in girl, but sometimes it's nice to mix it up. Yes. Oops. Never tried these. Sound kind of good. Look at these cute little guys. So adorable. Not sure if that's worth $10, but really cute. Gosh, everybody has a seltzer out these days. I am a seltzer fan. This Target is a little bit farther from me than my uh, standard Target, but I just like it a little bit better. It's a little bit bigger. They're more well stocked, except if you want a microwave. One day I'm gonna get some toaster strudel because, oh my God, they have cinnamon toast crunch toaster strudel. Because as a child, these were like our special treat, you know? Get a box of toaster strudels and they were like pretty much gone immediately. My brothers and I did not mess around. Yeah, let's see. Cold brew, blonde roast. I'll look at that in a second. Okay, the Chobani cold brew is so good. Highly recommend. And I do love the Star Brew, Star Brew, Starbucks cold brew too, but I'm just a black cold brew fan and it looks like they uh, don't have any presently, so. But I will get a Chobani and I wanna check out this one. Ingredients, cold brew coffee, water and coffee, perfect. I'm gonna try this one. I've never had this one before, I'm excited. Got the organic grass fed milk. I'll try the Good and Gather. Oh, milk this time. I 
tried lactose free milk once and it just had like a weird aftertaste to me kind of like metally metallic i don't know um i'm sure that's just because i'm used to regular full-on lactose milk whoa did you see that whoa did you see that <laughs> okay i need some tide i'm going with the downy april fresh forever tide but i kind of want to try something else oh maybe i'll try this botanical rain tide lasting freshness okay give it a shot i should have checked my target circle to see if they had any deals on detergent and stuff but you know i don't plan well like that okay this is the biggest selection of Keurigs I've like ever seen. They literally span the entire <laughs> row here. <laughs> wow. Every shape and size. Okay, these plastic cups are so cute. I love the green. I love, I just love like big plastic cups. And these bowls are really cute too. It's all like 50 cents each. Very cute. Coffee before Taki. Yeah, I feel that. All right, all right, all right. If you can read this, you're too close. Huh? Liquid motivation. This is my work from home mug. Yeah. These are two bucks each. Cute. These are adorable. I'm really not sure what the point is, but so cute. Opal House. I mean, this location is really great for home essential stuff. Oh, these cutting boards are so cute, too. Pretty. Ooh, is this olive? Very pretty. Ooh, it's a pretty bowl, too. I feel like I always need some, like, household something or other. Perpetually. You feel me? Wow, look at all these razors and whatnot jeez i'm telling you it's target i don't know of any other targets around that are like this okay i need some of these um okay we'll just go basic it's like makeup and beauty section it's huge i don't know maybe i just don't get out enough but nice it is it's like kind of reminds me of an Ulta sort of oh my gosh this is like sunning back in my day that's what it was called hair lightener you just spray it in your hair and then let the sun lighten it ah! oh my gosh this little thing's 12.49 probably back in my day it was like three bucks I think I used it when I was like 15. Huge fan of the real techniques. I use that to apply my foundation, but I use the Ulta version of the Beauty Blender to apply my concealer. Just like it works better. I've got a pretty great elf section. This whole wall is elf. I don't need anything elf right now, but um, that ultra precise brow pencil is pretty good. It's like four or five dollars. I've never used their sponges. If you have, let me know. I need Rimmel. Walmart that I have near me doesn't have Rimmel. Is that a thing? I guess Rimmel isn't everywhere. What's the difference between these two? This one says grab and go, but they're both 200. I'm just gonna grab it. Dang it, I don't have Rimmel here. Seriously, why? I thought all Target had Rimmel. I just need an eyeliner. Jason Wu, who's that? If you've tried any of his stuff, let me know. I mean, obviously he's probably a makeup artist. Oh, wow. Oh. I've never seen this in stores, the Emily Edit. Emily uh, Noel. Ooh, really pretty palettes. Oh, I used to love this stuff. Lasting drama. That stuff literally lasts 24 hours. So what's your favorite drugstore, like brow situation? You know, I'm always on the lookout. Oh, this is so cute. Cuticle oil. Sweet little blossoms in there. Here's like all the masks. They call it the mask bar. Looks like a range of prices. 
Three bucks. Two bucks. Wow, love it. This is my jam. I think I found like my holy grail foundation primer powder situation. My primer, I use um, Hourglass Mineral Veil. And then I use Shape Tape Concealer, L'Oreal uh, Foundation, and then Cody Airspun Powder. It's just the best. Lots of nail stuff. Hmm. Pretty. I like that. Um, are these press-ons? Oh, tabs, okay. I'm like tempted to get some, just to like have some cuter looking nails and like a snap. Mm, these are pretty though. These are also pretty. Glue included. These are handy. Lay and go Cosmo. You can store everything in here and then you just like unfold it. And there it is, I love that. They have it in black and pink. Oh, is that the makeup eraser? Uh-huh. Ten bucks. I've never used it. Um, I'm just like a cotton round and micellar water. <laughs> if I'm feeling not lazy, then I use um, Clinique Take the Day Off. They also have like every sort of chopper and blender that you could like ever think of. Food processors, Ninja. Look at all these guys. Juicer, Nutribullet, Ninja Foodie. Yeah, look at all this stuff, wow. Well, they've got the, the big guns here. Um, that's the, there's, I didn't realize there's so many different versions of the Ninja Foodie, or of the Ninja. That is a really pretty KitchenAid mixer. Um, there's not like a box for it around at all, so I don't know how much it is. This is a really cute like section. I haven't spent a ton of time in here, but I like it. Look at all this stuff. I want to be in the shot with the KitchenAid mixer. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Please, again, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And hit that like button if you like this video and also the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Okay. All right, be safe out there, um, and I hope you're doing well. Leave me a comment down below, say hey, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.